please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Hey guys, and welcome to your Titan TV holiday special. We have a lot of fun segments in store for you guys, but first, let's start off with daily updates. Hey, I'm Summer. And I'm Kaylin, and this is your daily update. Seniors and seniors, Cal State University Chico will be presenting at TC on Friday, December 10th at 8.30 a.m. The CSU Chico application is still being accepted through the 15th of December. If you would like to attend this presentation, please sign up in the Success Center. Seniors, you have one week left to order your cap and gown. Both purchases and loaner gowns must be ordered by December 15th. All ordering information can be found on the graduation page on our website. Titans, tickets for her Winter Wonderland dance at Pins and Pockets are now on sale. Buy your tickets online or at the bookkeeper. Tickets are 35 with an ASB card and 45 without and are all inclusive. And now here's Ben with your Daily Dad Joke. Daily Dad Joke. Hey Titans, Benjamin back with Daily Dad Joke. Why did the Christmas elf get a restraining order? Because he was stalking someone. Anyways, that was, that was, that was your Daily Dad Joke. Daily Dad Joke. Once again, I'm Summer. And I'm Kaylin. And this <laughs> is your daily update. Now here's the rest of your Friday episode. My name is Anastasia, and I play Anastasia. My name is Alex. I play as Alex in a play, but more innocent version, you could say. I'm Mason Sandoval. I'll be playing the role of Mason. Uh, it was originally written as Michael. Hi, I'm Sydney Manning, and I play myself in this play. Um, it's kind of like a Christmas Carol gone wrong, and it turns into like a comedy featuring a bunch of classic Christmas bits. Uh, there are four people total in the play, and we play over 30 roles. So, meditation and manifesting a good performance, bestie. Well, you know, I usually think about things I anticipate for, you know, like games and everything like that, and I just take it as another step to get there, you know, it's all past me now. Just like shaking my like shoulders and head, like, just like this basically. It just like helps me like get back into my body instead of out of my head, you know, like it puts me back. Probably just to like take deep breaths and like try and calm my heart rate down. Just think it's okay. Whatever happens, happens, and the audience is gonna hopefully love it. <laughs> uh, I love the Grinch. It's fun. I love the like his mannerisms and voice that he has that I get to exude. I'd say my <laughs> favorite scene to act was a uh, gift of the Maggie. You know, that's quite nice. I find it quite hilarious. You know. Macy's Thanksgiving Parade, no doubt. Uh, I am the lovely Johanna Chanel, and uh, I am, it's just a fun thing all around. Uh, I, I'd love to give more details, but j you just gotta come see the show. Ooh, my favorite scene, probably um, the entire Rudolph section, because I love that special so much, and just to do it on stage is just great. <laughs> Um, I love my cane. I like it a lot. It's fun. I'd say it's, uh, well, for this play, uh, Gift of the Maggie, because, uh, you know, it, it, it takes a bit to put on. It's a little heavy, you know, but it really pays off in the end. I, I believe it has a real huge, huge comedic effect. So, yeah, pretty cool. My Ghost of Christmas present costume, 100%. Uh, it's got... It's got this cape and this big like uh, wreath hat, and you cannot give me a cape and expect me to behave with it. It's just so fun to play with. Probably my little who hat I wear during the Grinch. It's not really a hat; it's a headband. But I really do like wearing it. It's just a little goofy and fun, and I like it a lot. No, I, I think my character is like a little uptight, but aside from that, like 
I do think she has cool aspirations. I like I like her love of classic literature. Well, I'd say so. Usually, I'd say me when I was about eight years old or so, you know, me being all innocent and oblivious towards stuff, so yeah. Uh, I relate to the character and the fact that he likes uh, cri Christmas trivia and a lot of the, uh, like, a lot of his lines are really funny. Uh, but I'd say I'd probably relate to Alex's character more because I love all the Christmas specials. Whenever Christmas specials and songs, all the animated ones come on, love them. Yes and no, yes, because um, I, I like all the Christmas specials and stuff. And because I also get very, very stressed around the holidays. And no, because I'm not really a fan of history <laughs> at all. Thank you Daily Updates for updating us and make sure you go watch the drama show. It is really funny. I watched it myself, so I'm not lying to you guys. Like I watched it myself. Like it was really funny. Like such good acting, such good talent and such good crowd interaction. So, yeah. Go watch that and it's premiering Friday. Well, it's not premiering. It shows from Friday and Saturday. So, make sure you go watch it and buy your tickets. Um, now to hand it off to TSPN with their obstacle course. What's up Titans? Today we've got a really fun segment for you. Uh, I brought together some of the winter sports captains to do an obstacle course and here's how they did. I'm here with the girls varsity basketball captains and honorable player Kalena. Uh, first off, what are you guys' names? I'm Kyla Strange. Kalena Apana. Gwen Pamatha. And what grade are you in? I'm a senior. Sophomore. I'm a senior. Gotcha. And how do you guys think you're going to do this season? I think we're going to do pretty well. Um, I think we'll compete for a league title. I'm hoping that we'll do great this season. We've been doing pretty well so far. That's very good to hear. Uh, do you guys have any uh, free game rituals that you like to do? Uh, last year before games, we went into the team room and uh, did a bit of meditation before each home game. Nice, that's awesome. And there are girls varsity basketball captains and honorable player, Kalana. <laughs> I'm here with the boys varsity basketball captains and I'm going to ask them a few questions for the course. First off, what are your names? I'm Jacob Sanchez. Come up, Juana. Miles Foreman. All right, awesome. Uh, what grade are you guys in? I'm a 12th grader. I'm 11th. Senior. <laughs> nice, all different answers. Uh, how do you guys think you're going to do this year? Uh, I think we're going to do pretty good. We got, we got a lot of team chemistry. We've been playing for four years all together. I think we'll be solid. Good to hear. Uh, and last off, uh, do you guys have any pregame rituals? Yeah, our pregame rituals with us at NBA Youngboy in the locker room. That's yeah. awesome. Good to hear. <laughs> I'm here with the boys varsity wrestling captains. I asked them a few questions. First off, what are your names? I'm Jonathan Granada. I'm Ben Jong. Second off, what grade are you guys in? I'm a senior. I'm a senior. Awesome. And uh, how do you guys think you guys are going to do this year? Um, I think we're looking pretty good so far. We have a lot of young wrestlers, but they all have a lot of potential. So looking forward to CIF. Um, hopefully everything ends up the best with COVID and all, but so far, so good. Awesome. And last question, do you guys have any pre-match rituals? Um, we do a little something called Slap City. So basically right before they're about to go in the mat and you know wrestle their person, we'll, we'll say their name or we'll say pin, heat, something to get them a little hyped up. And then- Here, we'll you wanna do a, do a demonstration? Oh. Do a demonstration. Do a demonstration, all right. And we'll go in, we'll go. That's great to know. Uh, let's go to the obstacle course now. back with the girls basketball captains uh, to ask them about their course time. Uh, first off, how do you guys think you did? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, you're okay. Not good. <laughs> do you think you're gonna win? No. No. Uh, it's okay though. All right, thank you for your time. That's what I'm saying, you gotta 
I'm fine. here back with the boys varsity wrestling captains. Uh, how do you guys think you did? Well, I'm just gonna say that I think Renato's happy that wrestling's an individual sport after that one. <laughs> do you guys think you won? No, not not a chance. <laughs> awesome, good to hear. Thank you guys. I'm back with boys varsity captains. Uh, how do you guys think you did? Uh, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, I think we did pretty good too. All right, you guys think you won? Yeah, I think we won. All right. Uh, come support us at home today at 6:30. We got a home game tonight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, thank you. Shout out to all the teams that couldn't make it because of practice or games. Uh, we got boys and girls soccer and girls water polo. Thank you, TSPN. I can't wait to see more games next semester. And now I'm going to hand it off to commercials where we introduce you to a new holiday game, which I like to call Charades Telephone or Telephone Charades. I really haven't come up with a name for this. So after you guys watch it, please tell me, like, what do you think? Like, what should we call this game? Yeah. Hey, guys, the members of Time TV are playing a game called Telephone Charades Holiday Edition, where they have to act out the word in charades and have to do it in the line so like telephone so like hence telephone like charades telephone you know telephone charades and the last person has to guess the word um without further ado let's get into the video and i'm supposed to have yeah okay okay i'm ready Is it decorating no, something? It's decorating it's decorating a yeah, it's from here to there. It was putting a star on a Christmas tree. Was no, it's yeah. actually like the box. Like, all like, all like, all yeah. I what is it? What is it? Right no, now. you're putting a star on a Christmas tree. No. This is obvious. I okay, okay, well, we got it. Well, I got it.
eating cookies? It's milk and cookies. What? The, okay. What did he say? Yeah. You got the idea, but it think Christmas, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on. You should have went like. Yeah. You should have went like. Oh, pouring it. Then you pour your milk no. in your. That's weird. What? That is weird. Why pouring a eat? milk in a glass. That's oh. weird. I thought you were pouring your milk in the cookies. Like what? No. What? No. I don't know. Yeah. I'll let you guys. The viewers decide if Jonathan was good or not. Honestly, I think we got that. he didn't say milk. Therefore, he I'm like, it. no, he got it. He got the idea. He Anyways, thank you guys for playing. Yay. You guys are so good. Can we, get a, can we get a shout out to Carlos' English teacher for not oh, teaching him how to read? <laughs> <laughs> she scribbles on her paper. Bro, uh, you said that. Shout out, that, shout out to that. Ms. Happy Lockwood. holidays. I, happy holidays. <laughs> I'm not one to say goodbyes, but I have to say goodbye. This is our last episode, like full Friday episode of the semester, and it's been a it's been a fun time creating videos and making different segments for you guys. And I'm glad that most of us, or if not all of us, have watched our episodes and gave us feedback and all that. I hope you guys do great on your finals, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.